what is up good evening good afternoon good evening whatever it is um what's going on with y'all happy sunday first and foremost um uh i came to talk to y'all um about the mayhem when it comes to the playstation 5 and the pre-orders so i want to share a story with y'all <clears throat> um involving uh, gamestop just up the street from me um on a uh, east belt line so um everybody in the world watched the stream right I'm, I'm i'm assuming everybody and their mama watched the stream so with that being said um i had my name on a list i was like maybe one of the first five six people on this list um for the uh, for about what two months um yeah sound about right for about two months or almost two months I was one of the first five, six people that was supposed to get a call um, when the PlayStation 5 um, was available for pre-order to secure the pre-order, right? Mind you, been on the list for like uh, a month and a half, close to two months. So <clears throat> with that being said, I'm assuming, like I said, everybody watched the stream. And uh, the pre-order, Sony had hit us with a left hook, like, bam! You know what I'm saying? The pre-orders went live right after the stream was over. I got the phone call. Mind you, told you, me and everybody in GameStop, everybody that worked there, we've been talking about this for like two months. I've been ready for this for like the longest. Like anybody else, right? So with that being said, um, they called me. I was just getting, I was just delivering my last two packages. That's a word for, uh, for uh, I delivered for Amazon. Uh, I was just uh, dropping off my last two packages when I got the call, right? Ended up getting off of work, trying to rush up the GameStop and secure the pre-order. Um, I called back just to check and see because it was like 10 minutes um, from closing time. They closed at like 8. So I called back. I'm like, yo, because I'm trying to see if I'm still good to come up there and secure the pre-order. I know y'all finna close. So I got, um, I called back and... It was just like, nah, uh, actually, unfortunately, um, we're sorry. We sold them all. Y'all, I was so fucking mad, dog. Like, you have no idea. Well, you probably do have an idea because you were probably somebody that didn't get it or didn't secure a pre-order. So you can only, well, can't even say you can only imagine because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you that understand where the fuck I'm coming from. But I was so mad. To the point where I I couldn't even speak. I'm like, I'm on the phone like. Okay. Okay, bye. Like, I'm, I'm like, whatever. I didn't even say bye. I'm just like, click. You know what I'm saying? So, at this point, I go back up there the next day. Or I talk to the person on the phone. Well, I, think, I believe she the manager on the next, uh, the manager for that particular game stop. Uh, we talking about um, East Beltline. East Beltline location. So, um, she basically hit me with the, I'm sorry, there's nothing else we can do. Um, you know, I can call you when they're, when they give us more pre-orders, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, I'm sorry that I'm sorry ain't good enough because you say, you say that y'all don't turn around walk-ins. Okay. That's cool. But. You never told me that y'all never, that y'all don't turn around walking. You mean to tell me that for two months we've been talking about the hype and all of this, and I can't wait to get this and that. I got all the stuff I need. I've been trading in games, preparing for this. You left out the most important detail that you don't turn away walk-ins. Where the fuck do they do that shit at? Where? Where? It was kind of like on some shit we got our money it was kind of like um you know like fuck it you know what i'm saying like if you're gonna be on some first come first come, first serve shit you should have told me that because i could have been more prepared than i already was for that but you didn't you left out the very the most important detail and i feel like that was just bad business on their part because it's like it's already about to be hard enough to secure a pre-order so why would you and, and i'm a loyal customer been coming here and speaking and saying hello and been generous and kind to y'all ever since I started coming to that GameStop up the street. So it's like, 
why you do me like that? You know what I'm saying? Like that was just complete garbage. That was that was garbage, dog. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? From Sony's standpoint, that they could have they they could have did a lot better with the whole pre-order thing, but but still, at the end of the day, as the retailer, GameStop, you know what I'm saying, in the relationship that I thought we had, you know what I'm saying, they didn't even try to make the situation better. I went to another game, GameStop within maybe 20 minutes. They made the situation a whole lot better. They was just on some, oh well, we don't have anything. We don't have any more. Sorry, we can't. We can't help you. Uh, we we won't know anything until Sony says anything. You didn't even try. You didn't even try. That's customer service one on one. You got an angry customer, you can at least try to make the situation better. If they still not satisfied with what you came up with or what you tried to pitch them afterwards, then the least you can say is you tried. They didn't even try. They didn't even try, dog. So it's like walking away from it. What I learned, if 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 you get word that a PS5 is 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 is, is, is the pre-order ain't been secured yet, and they got some that you can go get to go secure. Do it, do it. Don't wait. Don't sit around. Nothing. Go, go. Because apparently, no one's turning away walk-ins. This this ain't that. This ain't that. If you got the chance to go get you one, go secure the bag. Just go. Just go do it. Just go do it. Because I got played. At the end of the day, you played me. Cause the, like, what was the point of having five, six people on a roster to call in the first place? Then, if you was gonna turn around and sell them anyway, you knew what you was gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit didn't sit right with me. And like any any person with common sense, like could understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't like I knew they were doing first come first serve, or they wasn't turn, turning away walk uh, turning away walk ins. Because if I knew. Then that's one thing. And I would have been prepared for that. I could have had my mom, could have had my brother, could have had any relative come up to GameStop and secure the bag. But y'all fumbled that shit. So I had to go ahead and just say, fuck it. I'm not fucking with y'all no more. After I do, I had to transfer all of my information to another GameStop. And like, you know, I'm 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 a, I'm a loyal customer. You know what I'm saying? But just do, if we're going to do business, then let's do business the right way. Like you just genuinely, you generally just fucked me over. So closing um i don't want to make this video super long but i mean at the same time like i said man um if y'all got a chance to go secure a pre-order do it do not do not listen to them oh making a phone call or anything fuck that go do it if you get word or you've been paying attention or you've been keeping your eyes open for more pre-orders being uh, available go secure it as soon as they say we got them go let go for anybody Anybody I know, anybody I don't know, I'm looking out for y'all. This is something that I experienced. And I'm sure a lot of other people had similar or maybe different experiences. But, you know, I just wanted to um, share mine with y'all, man. So, um, uh, you somebody that want to, uh, or that's uh, interested in getting a PlayStation 5, whether it's digital or the, with the disk drive, man, I would just say, just go. And the next time you hear about it, go. Do not hesitate. So, with that being said, man, thank y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if y'all want to. I'm going to have some content coming out pretty soon. So, uh, you know, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all.